Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we talk about transversal of parallel lines because when we draw a transversal on parallel lines, we see that a lot of relationships between these angles which we discussed just now establish. So whenever two parallel lines are intersected by a common line, so that common line is called the transversal. Now, in case of parallel lines, these are the following relations that establish. That is, it is observed that the pairs of corresponding angles are equal. So, you remember we spoke about the corresponding angle. So, let's say if this is angle 1 and if this is angle 3. So, these are corresponding angles. So, as per this relation, angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Similarly, let's talk about this angle. Let's say that this is angle 2. And let's say this is angle 4. So angle 2 and angle 4 are also corresponding angle. So angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Similarly, if this is angle 5 and this is angle 6. So 5 and 6 being corresponding angle, angle 5 is equal to angle 6. So a pair of corresponding angles are always equal. Second, pairs of alternate interior angles are also equal. Now, what, which are alternate interior angles? In this case, angle 2 and angle 3 are alternate interior angles, right? So, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Similarly, which is the alternate interior angle for angle 5? This angle. Let us call this 7. So, angle 5 is equal to angle 7. Now, these relationships hold true only in case of parallel lines, only when the transversal is intersecting parallel lines. Pairs of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Now, which are the interior angles on the same side of transversal? Maybe angle 5 and angle 3. So, as per this, angle 5 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. That is, these are supplementary. Similarly, angle 2 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees. So, these are certain relationships which hold true for transversal intersecting parallel lines. Now, that's important. Now, you might wonder that why is it that suddenly for parallel lines, so many angles uh, have become equal, like the corresponding angles became equal, alternate interior angles became equal. So, in order to understand that, we will prove each of these facts one after another. So let us first try to understand why the alternate interior angles are equal in this case. Now we basically want to prove that why let, let's call this as angle maybe 1. Let us call this angle 2. So we basically want to prove here that why is it that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So we want to understand why this is true. Right? Now, there is definitely a mathematical proof to verify why angle 1 is equal to angle 2. However, that proof will involve congruence theorem which you will learn in your higher classes. So that mathematical proof you will learn in when you go to your class 9th. But for now, I want to explain you that why this relationship holds true for only parallel lines and not for non-parallel lines. So we will have a look at it. Now, just looking at this diagram, let, let us mark these angles also. Let us mark this as angle 3 and let us mark this as angle 4. Now, looking at this diagram, you can see that angle 1 and angle 3, they together form supplementary angles. They form a linear pair. So, angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, you can say that angle 2 plus angle 4 is also equal to 180 degree. So, from these two, you can say that angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 4, right? Now, we also know that angle 3 is not equal to angle 2, right? Because looking at this, you can very easily see that if this is an obtuse angle, then this is going to be an acute angle. Similarly, when this is an obtuse angle, this is going to be an acute angle. Looking at the diagram only, forget about the relationship. When you look at this diagram, let's say that these two lines are parallel. So, if you draw a 90 degree like this, similarly, if you draw a 90 degree like this, what do you see? You see that angle 2 is greater than 90 degree 
and here you see that angle 3 is less than 90 degree so that is how it is so we know that angle 3 and angle 2 will never be equal similarly angle 1 and angle 4 will never be equal because in both of these cases if one angle is acute the other angle is obtuse so they both can never be equal so for in this relationship when you look at this relationship this angle 3 and angle 2 will never be equal similarly angle 1 and angle 4 will never be equal so the other possibility that is left out is angle 1 can be equal to angle 2 similarly angle 3 can be equal to angle 4 now there is also a possibility where you might say that okay it, it is also possible that none of these are equal to each other but still their sums are equal yes that is also very much possible but in this case what I am trying to show you is mathematically we get certain hints that there is a possibility that angle 1 can be equal to angle 2 similarly angle 3 can be equal to angle 4 now the question is what goes wrong in case of non-parallel lines now in case of non-parallel lines let, let me draw non-parallel lines let's say these are non-parallel lines when we draw a transversal what happens is here let's say this is the angle and here this is the angle so if this angle is obtuse this angle becomes acute do you know why because this line itself is moving in the upward direction right because the two lines are trending to meet each other therefore what happens the orientation changes that is the angle changes therefore here this angle is acute and this angle becomes obtuse similarly if let's say that if two lines are moving away from each other in that case here the angle would be acute but in this case the angle would be obtuse so whenever you consider non-parallel lines their alternate angles will change in a similar way their corresponding angles would also change and the sum of the angles on the same side of transversal would also change so this entire uh, relationships they develop just because the two lines are parallel when the two lines are parallel this equality of the angles hold true so let us Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.